So here's the uh, Precision Ladders website. Uh, you can go and look at all the products. Uh, it's precisionladders.com there. Uh, you can go through whatever you need or click on downloads if you're looking for a family. And you can go through any of these to select family you're looking for. They've also got some calculators if you're needing to figure out which unit you actually need because I know there's a bunch of options. Um, so we're looking at the super simplex here. So you got your brochure, there's a video showing how it works, specifications, different uh, families for different conditions, uh, ceiling height, standard box, angled frame, which is what we'll be looking at. Uh, you've also got the guardrail and manuals. So if we come into Revit, uh, I've got everything loaded already, and we will place this. In this case, it's the uh, 1117 AH, which is an angled box frame, and then 30 would be the width. And uh, the families themselves are all face-based, so it will host to whatever face, uh, which can be, is generally good, because a lot of times you'll have a reference plane rather than a ceiling object, depending on who owns what in the model. Uh, so you can host it on a reference plane. I know these also end up in warehouses where there might not be an actual ceiling. So you could have a plane for it to sit on and still have your unit going up there. So if we come to a ceiling plan, like place on face, and I have reference plane set up because I have my nice ceiling grid all set up. Put that out where it goes, which you can see. Let's go to this guy. Um, so there's your angled frame. So, you, And if you come over here, you got this uh, extended parameter, which will extend it out as if it's open. Uh, and then you can see you go up the, the ladder stairway, and then you've got a couple of steps so that you're not making that 90 degree transition, which if you're carrying anything is very helpful. And once that's there, come into our roof plan and add our roof hatch. Again, it's also face-based, so if you have a reference plane or floor, roof, ceiling, I know Revit can be fickle. So we'll center that up. I'm not sure if that's exactly where it goes. It's not. So roof hatch would sit like that. Uh, the roof hatch itself would be made specific for the stairway because the width at the top, since it's an angle, uh, there's some trig involved and might not always be a perfectly nice round number. But if we come look at that, so you got your roof hatch and your stair. Let's look at the other one. So you can see, and it, it'll cut your uh, face, whatever that is. In this case, it's a floor. Uh, mostly so I could get that metal decking in there. And so you've got your hatch, your stairway, and it will, uh, depending on the size, open to the side or the front. So only thing left then would be to put our guardrail in, also face-based. And I forget how big this hatch is. Six six. That's right. And I think it was three. I hope so. I'll have to redo this otherwise. Oh, I got it right. So there's everything all in one place go to this nice section. So you got your uh, super simplex here, attic box, not attic box, roof hatch, and then your guardrail, which also again face-based and will sit over the uh, the roof hatch itself. So the, the hatch and the stair come basically as one piece and then this would be made to fit the, uh, the roof hatch. Um, the simplex itself, if we go a uh, section will uh, like 7 feet to 13.6 for your ceiling height, which would be there. Uh, could be a 
acoustic panel, wood ceiling. In this case, I'm using just suspended gypsum on metal track. Uh, your box depth can go up to uh, one foot, up to eight feet, which would be this dimension here. So if my roof was a lot higher, the depth of the box would change. Um, you can get a two hour rating on that, which I know is nice. I do a lot of projects with rated assemblies and it's always a hassle to try and figure out how to get up to the attic, uh, especially with something like this that goes through the entire assembly rather than just a box. So overall, that's uh, everything. We can come in and keynote her up. Guardrail and our roof stairway. So that is the Super Simplex, in this case the uh, 1117 AH, which is the angle deep uh, roof space, and then your uh, roof hatch and guardrail. And again, these are all available on the uh, Precision Ladders website. I know they're also on a couple other third-party sites if you go through those as well.